The Kime no Kata consist of 20 techniques for attack and defense. Eight are Idori techniques that are employed while seated. And 12 are Tachiai that are used when both people are standing. The Kime no Kata were established in 1888 to help master the most effective techniques for serious competition. By studying the Kata, it is possible to understand and master the theoretical basis for attack and defense, thereby allowing one to move quickly and apply the most appropriate techniques to control the opponent. The tori is on the right and the uke on the left as seen from the front. They face each other, standing about 5.4 meters or 6 mats apart. Together they turn towards the center and do a standing bow. They face each other again, sit and bow. The uke picks up his weapons, turns around, walks back 1.8 meters, and sits. He places the weapons in front of him. He stands and returns to face the tori. The uke attempts to grab the tori's wrists. The tori kicks the uke in the solar plexus with the ball of his right foot and restrains the uke with ude hishiki wakikatame. Tsukake. The uke aims a punch at the tori's solar plexus. The tori dodges the blow and punches the uke between the eyes and follows with ude hishiki haragatame. Suriage. The uke thrusts the palm of his right hand up against the tori's forehead. The tori kicks him in the solar plexus with the ball of his right foot and twists him down onto his face, controlling him with an arm lock. Yokouchi. The tori evades the uke's attempt to strike his left temple and pushes the uke down on his back. He then strikes the uke in the solar plexus with his right elbow. Ushirodori. The uke grabs the tori from behind. The tori rolls to his left as if performing seoi nage and punches the uke in the groin. Komi. The tori evades the uke's attempt to stab him in the solar plexus and punches the uke between the eyes, following with ude hishigi haragatame. Kirikomi. The uke attempts to slash the tori's head. The tori catches the uke's wrist and controls him with ude hishigi wakikatame.
Yokotsuki. The tori deflects the uke's attempt to stab him in the side and punches the uke between the eyes, following with Udehishigi Haragatama. Having finished the eight Idori techniques, they move on to Tachiai. The Uke and Tori stand up together. In Tachiai, the techniques for attack and defense commence from a standing position. Ryote Dori. The Uke attempts to grab the Tori's wrists. The Tori breaks the Uke's balance to the front and kicks him with the ball of his right foot, following with an Ude Hishigi Waki Katame. Sode Dori. The uke grabs the tori's sleeve, forcing him to walk forward. The tori kicks the uke in the knees with the outer side of his left foot and throws him with an o sotogari. Tsukake. The uke lunges forward and tries to punch the tori between the eyes. The tori evades the blow and steps around behind him to apply hadakajime. Tsukiyage. The tori evades the uke's uppercut and takes his wrist, controlling him with udehishigi wakigatame. Suriage. The uke tries to strike the tori's forehead with the palm of his right hand. The tori evades the blow and punches the uke in the solar plexus and throws him with ukigoshi. Yokouchi. The uke tries to punch the tori in the temple. The tori dodges the blow and steps behind him to apply okuri erijime. Keage. The uke tries to kick the tori in the groin. The tori avoids the kick by catching the uke's ankle and twists his hips to the left to kick the uke in the groin. Ushirodori. The uke grabs the tori from behind. The tori throws him with ippon seoi nage and strikes him between the eyes with the side of his hand. Komi. The uke attempts to stab the tori in the solar plexus with his dagger. Tori evades the strike and punches the uke between the eyes, following with udehishigi haragatame. Kirikomi. The uke attempts to slash the tori's head with his dagger. The tori parries the strike and applies udehishigi wakigatame. Nukigake. As the uke attempts to draw his sword, the tori restrains his wrist and steps behind him to apply kata hajime. Kiriyoroshi. The uke raises his sword high above his head and attempts to slash the top of the tori's head. The tori evades the blow and catches the uke's wrist, pulling it towards his right hip and follows with udehishigi haragatame. The uke holds his sword in front of him, in the gedan position, and returns to his original position.
He sits in Caesar, takes the sword from his hip and places it on the floor. He then picks up the sword and dagger with his right hand, stands and turns to face the toddy. They sit and bow to each other, after which they stand and turn towards the front to do a standing bow and exit. Let's look at the beginning of the kata. The uke holds the sword and dagger in his right hand, with the sword on the outside held at a 45 degree angle. Both blades should be turned upward. They turn to the front and bow. Then they sit facing each other. The uke lays his weapons beside him making sure that the dagger is on the inside. He and the tori bow to each other. The uke picks up his weapons with the dagger on the inside, stands, turns around, walks back 1.8 meters and sits in Caesar. He holds the weapons vertically in front of him and with his left hand supporting the sword, he lays the weapons down to the left on the mat. Both blades should be towards him. The uke and tori stand simultaneously, after which the uke returns to his former position facing the tori. Together they move forward, starting with their left foot, stop and sit. Atemiwaza are techniques used to attack vital points by striking, kicking or thrusting. Since the kime no kata were established to master the most effective techniques for serious competition, the kata include atemiwaza which are not used in nandori. In order to be able to execute atemiwaza with precision and speed, it is essential to understand the location of the vital points and the parts of the body with which the attacks are executed. Let's look at the vital points. Uto, between the eyes. Kasumi, temple. Suigetsu, solar plexus. Kokan no Kyusho, groin. The parts of the body used as weapons are the outside edge of the hand, as in a hand chop, the fist, the padded area beneath the little finger with the fist clenched, the elbow. The foot, the sekito or ball of the foot, and the knee. With Atemiwaza in mind, let's take a look at the main points of the Kime no Kata. Yo te dori.
The two move to within 90 centimetres of each other, stop and sit. While seated, they advance to within two fist widths of each other, what is known as the hizazume no mai, or hizazume position. The tori breaks the uke's balance to the front and kicks him with the ball of his right foot, following with ude hishigi waki gatame. The uke attempts to grab the tori's wrists. The tori pulls his hands back and breaks the uke's balance to the front. He then kicks the uke in the solar plexus with the ball of his right foot and taking hold of the uke's left wrist from below, traps the arm with his right armpit to apply ude hishigi waki gatame. Notice how the tori breaks the uke's balance. He pulls his wrists backward and out to break the uke's balance to the front. When applying a temi with the ball of his foot, the tori should kick the uke in the solar plexus. If he is too close to the uke, he may sometimes apply a temi with his kneecap. Once the tori has succeeded in controlling the uke, the uke indicates mairi or surrender. In kime no kata, this may be done by patting the tori or the mat twice, depending on the technique. Tsukake. From the hizazume position, the uke shouts and attempts to punch the tori in the solar plexus. The tori dodges the punch and pulls the uke's right arm forward to break his balance and punches him between the eyes. He then immediately takes the uke's right wrist with his right hand and with his left grabs high on the uke's right lapel to restrain his neck and locks his right elbow with ude hishigi haragatame. When applying the arm lock, the tori should grab high on the uke's right lapel, draw the uke's right wrist towards the joint of his right thigh, and press his lower abdomen against the uke's elbow with the back of the uke's hand facing up. Suriage. The uke thrusts his right hand up at the tori's forehead. The tori deflects the blow, pulls the uke down on the mat and locks his right arm. The uke thrusts the palm of his hand up at the tori's forehead, making sure that his fingers are together and extended. The tori deflects the blow and breaks the uke's balance to the front. At the same time, he kicks the uke in the solar plexus with the ball of his right foot and twists the uke down onto his face. The tori pushes the uke's right arm up presses his knee against the uke's elbow and completes the lock by pulling slightly with his right hand. Note how the tori uses his hands. He places his right hand on the uke's wrist and his left under the uke's armpit and immediately applies a temi. He then brings his right knee down and twists the uke firmly down onto the mat. This is how the tori controls the uke's arm. The tori should make sure not to be on his toes. Yokochi. The uke shouts and strikes at the tori's temple. The tori ducks under the uke's arm and steps forward, using his arms and neck to restrain the uke in katagatame and pushes the uke down. Immediately following with atemi in the solar plexus. From a different angle, Restraining the uke's right arm, the tori's left hand presses the back of the uke's right hip to push him down. His left hand now presses the uke's right elbow, and his right elbow strikes the uke in the solar plexus. Now the two sit about 1.2 meters apart, facing each other. 
The uke stands and walks around behind the tori from the right, stopping one pace directly behind him. He then sits and draws himself towards the tori. Ushiro dori. The uke grabs the tori from behind. The tori rolls to his left as if performing ippon seoi nage in makikomi and applies a temi. The uke shouts and puts his arms around the tori's upper arms. The tori loosens the hole by raising his arms to the side, grabs the uke's upper arms and rolls to his left as if performing ippon seoi nage. He follows with ushiro kesagatame and punches the uke in the groin. When rolling to the left, the tori slides his right leg back between the uke's legs. The uke advances on his knees and takes up his sitting position behind the tori. He then stands and walks around the tori's right side till they come face to face in toma, 1.2 meters apart. Now the uke stands and goes to get the dagger. He places the dagger, blade up, inside his jacket. He then returns to sit facing the tori. He positions himself 45 centimeters from the tori and then they can proceed to Tsukomi. The tori evades the attack, punches the uke between the eyes, the uto, and locks his elbow. The uke grabs the scabbard from outside his jacket, unsheathes the dagger blade up, and strikes at the tori's solar plexus. The tori evades the attack, raises his right knee, and punches the uke's uto with his right fist. He takes the uke's wrist with the same hand and pulls it towards his right thigh. His left hand grips the uke's right lapel to apply a choke, while the uke's elbow is locked with udehishigi haragatame. Note the atemi to the uto. When applying atemi with a fist, the back of the hand should be facing down. The tori grips high on the uke's right lapel with his left hand and with his right takes the uke's wrist and draws it towards his right hip to apply the lock. Kirikomi. The uke reaches inside his jacket to remove the dagger and sticks it in his belt on his left side. Here, the dagger is used as a substitute for a short sword. Note the way the uke sticks the dagger in his belt. The tori should evade the uke's attempt to slash the top of his head, deflect the strike, catch his wrist and apply the lock. The uke frees the dagger with his left hand, draws the dagger with his right hand, steps forward with his right foot and shouts as he tries to slash the top of the tori's head. The tori pivots to the right on his left knee and controls the uke with udehishigi wakigatame. In applying wakigatame, the tori should grip the uke's wrist with both hands, twist the arm so that the little finger is turned up, and lock the arm by pulling it forward at an angle. The tori should make sure not to try and catch the uke's kirikomi. He should deflect the strike and apply the lock. The uke returns to his original position and sits facing the tori. He then puts the short sword, in this case a dagger, back into its scabbard at his left side, then places it inside his jacket. The uke stands and comes over to the tori's right side and sits next to him at a distance of 20 centimeters to proceed to Yokotsuki.
the tori evades the uke's attempt to stab him in the side and punches the uke in the uto following with udehishigi haragatame. The uke grips the dagger scabbard from outside his jacket, unsheathes the dagger blade up, steps forward with his left foot and attempts to stab the tori. The tori pivots 180 degrees to the right and deflects the uke's arm at the elbow with his left hand and punches the uke in the uto with his right fist. He then grabs high on the uke's right lapel and applies a choke while applying udehishigi haragatame. Let's take a closer look at the movements. The tori deflects the uke's elbow and follows immediately with a punch to the uto. He presses the uke's elbow against his lower abdomen to apply haragatame. The uke then stands, turns around and walks to where the sword is. He sits in seiza and lays the dagger down in its original position. Now, tachiai. The uke and tori stand together. The uke turns and comes to within one pace of the tori. Ryote dori. The tori pulls his arms back to break the uke's balance to the front. The uke attempts to restrain the tori's wrists. The tori pulls his arms back to break the uke's balance forward and kicks him in the groin with the ball of his right foot. The tori then turns and steps to the left and applies udehishigi wakigatame. When applying a temi with the ball of your foot, relax the muscles from the knee down and kick sharply. When applying the lock, the tori pulls the uke out to the left and lowers his hips. The uke walks behind the tori from the right side and stands to the tori's left to begin sode dori. The uke forces the tori to walk forward. On the third step, the tori steps forward to his right, kicks the uke in the right knee with his left foot and throws the uke with o sotogari. The uke grabs the middle of the tori's sleeve with his left hand, then takes it above the elbow with his right hand, twisting and pushing the arm to force the tori forward. On the third step, the tori steps forward to his right and kicks the uke in the right knee with the outer side of his left foot. He immediately places his foot down near the outer side of the uke's right foot, pivots and throws the uke with an osotogari. Tsukake. The two stand 1.8 meters apart. The uke aims for the uto between the tori's eyes. The tori evades the blow and applies hatakajime. The uke raises his left fist to eye level, holds his right fist in front of his solar plexus and steps forward with his left foot. He lunges forward with his right foot and aims for the tori's uto but the tori evades the punch and applies hadakajime. To apply the choke, the tori puts his right arm around the uke's throat and clasps his hands, pulling the uke back to break his balance. The uke tries to break the choke by gripping the tori's right elbow. After failing to deliver the punch, the uke tries to straighten up. The tori uses the momentum to slide his right hand up the uke's right arm and apply hadakajime. Tsukiyage. The tori evades the uke's uppercut by leaning backward. He then takes the uke's wrist with both hands and pulls it upward, pivoting to the right. He pulls the arm to the upper right and applies udehishigi wakegatame. When evading the uppercut, it's important that the tori deflect the right arm and catch it rather than trying to stop it. Suriage.
The Tori evades the Uke's blow at his forehead, punches him in the solar plexus and throws him with Ukigoshi. The Uke aims at the Tori's forehead with his right palm, fingers straight and together. The Tori evades the blow, punches the solar plexus, then throws the Uke with Ukigoshi. The Kimi no Kata include Atemiwaza, which are not used in Randori. Be sure to understand the key locations correctly and apply the Atemi sharply. To execute Ukigoshi, lower your hips a little and twist your body, pivoting on your lower left hip. When applying a temi with the fist, the back of the hand should be facing down. Yoko uchi. The tori evades the uke's attempt to punch him in the temple and steps behind him to apply okuri erijime. The uke aims for the tori's left temple with the side of his fist. The tori evades the blow. He pushes the uke's chest with his right hand and grabs his left lapel. The tori then grabs the top of the uke's right lapel and applies okuri erijime. While applying the choke, the tori presses his forehead against the back of the uke's head. The uke attempts to defend himself by grabbing the tori's left elbow with both hands. Note how the tori on the left uses his feet. Keage. The uke tries to kick the tori with the ball of his right foot. The tori twists his body to evade the kick, pulls the leg to his left and kicks the uke in the groin. The tori catches the uke's right foot from below, immediately twists his hips to the left and kicks the uke. After completing Keage, the uke passes the tori's right-hand side, turns and stands 90 centimeters behind him. Ushirodori. The uke grabs the tori from behind. The tori throws him with Ippon Seoinage and strikes his uto with the side of his hand. After they both take a step forward with their left foot, the uke grabs the tori around his arms and the tori immediately raises his arms to the side. He takes the uke's upper arm to apply Ippon Seoinage and strikes the uke's uto with the side of his hand. The main point is for the tori to raise his arms and seize the uke's upper arm and apply the throw as soon as the uke grabs him. After facing each other, the uke goes to get the dagger. He sits in Caesar and places the dagger blade up inside his jacket. He then stands and returns to face the tori. Tsukomi. The tori turns, punches and follows with an arm lock. The uke grips the scabbard from outside his jacket, draws the dagger blade up and shouts as he attempts to stab the tori's solar plexus. The tori turns outward and deflects the strike following with a punch between the uke's eyes. Immediately taking the uke's right wrist, the tori grabs high on his right lapel and steps right left right towards the uke's upper right hand corner to apply Udehishigi Haragatame.
The uke puts the dagger back in its sheath inside his jacket and faces the tori at a distance of 90 centimetres. The uke unsheaths the dagger blade up and sticks it in his belt on his left side. The dagger is used as a substitute for a short sword. Now, Kirikomi. The tori deflects the uke strike and locks his arm. The uke frees the dagger with his left hand, steps forward with his right foot and attempts to slash the top of the tori's head. The tori deflects the attack, catches the uke's wrist and traps the arm under his left armpit to apply udehishigi wakigatame. The main point of this technique is for the tori to deflect the strike rather than trying to block it and grab the wrist to apply the lock. The uke returns to his original position and faces the tori. He then puts the short sword or dagger back into its scabbard at his left side and places it inside his jacket as a dagger. He then turns and walks to where the sword is and sits. He lays the dagger down. He picks up the sword and sticks it in his belt on the left side. He then returns to stand in front of the tori. Nukigake. The tori restrains the uke the moment he attempts to draw his sword and applies kata hajime. The moment the uke attempts to draw his sword, the tori steps in front of the uke's right foot with his right foot and controls the uke's wrist. The tori then steps to the uke's rear and reaches around his neck to grab his right lapel. He reaches past the uke's armpit and places his right hand on the back of the uke's neck to restrain him. The tori steps back with his left foot and applies kata hajime. Notice the movement of the tori's feet. The tori steps in front of the uke's right foot with his right foot and controls the uke's right hand. He then immediately steps to the uke's rear with his right foot and applies the choke. Kiriyoroshi. The uke holds the sword in the seigan position at a distance of 2.7 meters and advances a step, forcing the tori to step back. The uke raises the sword above his head in the jodan position and tries to slash the top of the tori's head. The tori dodges the strike by turning outward and grips the uke's wrist from above. He then pulls the wrist towards his right hip and reaches around the uke's neck to grab high on his right lapel, locking the arm with udehishigi haragatame. The uke brings the sword down to the gedan position and steps back to return to his original position. After bringing the sword up to the seigan position, he returns it to its sheath and steps back with his right foot to assume shizen hontai. He turns and goes to where the dagger is and sits in seiza. He removes the sword from his hip and returns it to its original position on the mat. He then picks up the sword and dagger with his right hand and stands. Meanwhile, the tori returns to the position in which he assumed Shizen Hontai. From Shizen Hontai, they take a step back together, sit and bow to each other.
They then stand and turn towards the front to bow and exit. The Kime no Kata were established to help master the most effective techniques for serious competition. Regular practice is essential in order to be able to move quickly and accurately to control the opponent. The Kime no Kata also include a number of atemiwaza, which are not used in randori. It is important to understand the key locations and apply the atemi sharply. In studying the kata, start out by practicing slowly and accurately and gradually build up speed so that the techniques for attack and defense can be carried out with force and speed. <laughs> 